In this demo, we're going to see how to create a web service and register it as an outgoing webhook in Microsoft Teams. Developing Microsoft Teams apps requires a Microsoft 365 tenant, Microsoft Teams configured for development, and the necessary tools installed in your workstation. For the Microsoft 365 tenant, follow the instructions in the Microsoft Teams documentation on how to prepare your Microsoft 365 tenant for obtaining a developer tenant if you don't already have a Microsoft 365 account. Make sure that you have also enabled Microsoft Teams for your organization. Microsoft Teams must be configured to enable custom apps and allow custom apps to be uploaded to your tenant in order to build custom apps for Microsoft Teams. Again, follow the instructions on the same Prepare Your Microsoft 365 Tenant page that I previously mentioned. You'll use Node.js to create a custom Microsoft Teams app in this module and in this demo. The exercises and demos in this module assume that you have the following tools installed on your developer workstation. Node.js version 12 or higher, NPM version 6 or higher, Gulp version 4 or higher, Yeoman version 3 or higher, the Yeoman generator for Microsoft Teams version 3 or higher, and the latest version of Visual Studio Code. You must have the minimum versions of these prerequisites installed on your workstation in order to complete this demo. We're going to start by creating a brand new project. So I'm going to create a new folder called Learn MS Teams Webhooks uh, out. And then we're going to change directory to jump into that folder. And I'm going to say Yo Teams to start the process of scaffolding our project. Uh, I'm going to choose most of the default options here. So the solution name, the uh, location, the title of the project, the company name, the manifest, the scaffolding, and then I'm gonna choose an outgoing webhook as uh, the option that I want. And the URL where I wanna host it, I'm just gonna choose the default option here because it's not really gonna matter um, for a demo. It just matters when I wanna do the deployment. Uh, I'll choose the default option for a loading indicator. And then the name of my webhook is gonna be called Teams Webhooks Outgoing. and then hit press enter. Um, this is now gonna create the folder and the files uh, required uh, for the project, and then it's gonna run npm install to go ahead and install the, all the dependencies that we need for our project. Now, our web service is gonna need one more npm package but that's gonna help simplify finding data uh, within an array. Uh, so I'm gonna run the following command um, at the command prompt uh, from the root folder of the project to install Lodash. So I'll say npm install Lodash-se. Now let's go ahead and launch this in VS Code. The Omen generator for Microsoft Teams created a stub web service endpoint for our outgoing webhook. So let's take a look at the webhook that it created. So I'm gonna open the source folder, server, the subfolder that was created, and then the name of the uh, file is Teams Webhook Outgoing .ts. Um, This listens uh, for HTTPS requests uh, at the endpoint uh, slash API slash webhook that you can see here. In the method uh, request handler, um, this method is first going to check the HMAC value in the authorization header against the security token that I'm going to obtain when I add the webhook to a team. So. Let me find the following code right here on the message text where it's updating or finding this, uh, uh, echoing out the text that's being passed in. This code simply uh, echoes a string entered into the message back to Microsoft Teams that will be added in a replay or reply to the message that triggered the webhook. So we're going to update this code to add some real functionality. So when the user app mentions the webhook, if they enter the name of a known planet in our solar system, it's gonna respond with an adaptive card that displays the details of the planet. So I'm gonna start by uh, adding two resources to my project. So I'm gonna first add in a file called planets.json, and I'm gonna just paste in a big JSON array of a list of all the different planets uh, in the solar system. This is gonna be like our little in-memory database uh, for all of our planets. The next thing I'm going to do is to add in a, another JSON file, planet display card dot JSON. And this is just going to be an adaptive card to display the contents uh, of our planet once we actually, uh, once we find out which one they want to display. Now let's go back to our webhook. 
And let's go to the top and I'm gonna add a import statement for pulling things in from uh, Lodash. So we wanna pull in the find and the sort by uh, methods. Now I'm gonna add in a little utility method here uh, to our class. So we'll just put it right here. And what this method's gonna do, the get planet detail card, it's gonna load and populate the adaptive card template with any of the details that have been provided um, by the planet that is being passed in. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another method to our class. We'll just add this to the bottom. Now, this method, uh, the process authentication request, it takes in an incoming text and uses it to, fly, to find a planet in the planets.json file. Um, if it finds one, it's gonna call the get planet detail card method to get an adaptive card and returns it as an activity that'll be sent back to Microsoft Teams. Um, if a planet isn't found, it just echoes the text back in a, re in a reply to the request. So we need to uh, update the, um, the name of our class because this is just, we're doing it as a static, it was done as a static method. So we just put this right here to update that so that'll work, okay. Now we're gonna, we also have a little utility function uh, that we have called scrub message. So let's go ahead and add scrub message. Oh, let me just change the scrolling here. A user must at mention the outgoing webhook to send messages to it. So what this method's gonna do is it's gonna remove the uh, ampersand at close tag that we have um, and any spaces to extract the planet name from the message that was actually submitted. All right. So now that this is all done, let's go update our handler. So I'm gonna go back up. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna actually change the message here. So I don't want this to be a const. So I'm first gonna change this to be a let so that we can actually change this. And then down in where we're actually echoing out the message, I'm gonna change this to be a, uh, to have a scrubbed text that calls our outgoing webhook scrub message and passing in the incoming the incoming text and the message that we're going to return is going to be equal to the webhooks process the authenticated request and we're going to pass in the scrub text that we got back. So let's test this. So from the command line, I'm going to come over to our project and I'm going to run gulp serve. This is going to start up our web server to start hosting our application. I now need to make my, uh, web, my web server that is running my locally hosted uh, webhook. I now need to make it available to Microsoft Teams. Teams has to go to a fully routable uh, URL that's also secured. So I'm gonna use the tool ngrok to do that. So I'm gonna come over and open up an, another console window and go into our folder where our project is. And I'm gonna run ngrok HTTP 3007. And what that's going to do is it's going to spin up a, um, a request or an endpoint that points to our local web server at the HTTPS endpoint. So now I'm going to go install our or add our outgoing webhook to call our web service. So let's go back over here to Microsoft Teams and I'm going to create, I'm going to add in uh, a new app. I'm then going to say uh, create an outgoing webhook. I'm going to give it a name of planet details. The callback URL is going to be equal to the ngrok URL. So I'll grab that from our console. And that's at the AP slash API slash webhook endpoint because that's the one we're listening on. And I have to give it a description. So I'll say view the details about the planet that was entered in the message. And then I'll say create. I'm going to copy the clipboard to my, or the security token to my clipboard. I'm going to come back over here to my project. I'm going to go to the environment variables and the security token. I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. Now, the way that this is being used, if you look back at the code of my webhook, we're obtaining the security token here from the environment variables. And I'm using this security token to do a check to see if it matches uh, the uh, value that's being submitted in the header. Uh, of my application. So what that's doing is it's taking the entire message using that security token, doing a, a hash on it using the token that was provided, and then it's providing that value in the header. I'm doing that exact same check 
And this is going to ensure that I know that the request came from this registration inside of Microsoft Teams. Now, in order for that environment variable to get picked up, I'm going to have to start and stop our web server. Now, I don't want to stop ngrok because the domain, I want to leave, make sure that the subdomain doesn't change. I just have to stop uh, the web server by just doing control C and then running gulp serve again to spin it back up. And ngrok will continue to run. All right, so ngrok is still running. So now we can go test out our webhook. So we'll go back to Microsoft Teams. I'll close this. And then I'm going to go into a channel. And I'm going to create a new conversation. And I'm going to at mention our planet details. And I'll just say Venus. And here we can see that our outgoing webhook has just responded uh, with the details for Venus that it found. So in this demo, you saw how to create and register an outgoing webhook uh, for Microsoft Teams.